So we go from the last vlog saying that there's nothing much going on anywhere to a few days after I made it and a day after I posted it and there's lots going on at the moment. I'm up at the local airport that doesn't get used for airport stuff anymore. Although it has got a nice event coming up, like a flying event coming up, I think near the end of May. So hopefully I'm going to try and get to that as well. But at the moment I've just been to a supercar show this morning. I missed the last one because I was with another event and there was some mix up about the charging and prices and all sorts. It's supposed to be free and it wasn't. There's also a drift school next to that, so part of the airport now is like a drift school stroke skid pan. So that looked quite interesting. And also the other side of the airport they're using for a thing called a Targa Rally. Now there wasn't many cars about on it when I went up with the drone, but it's you can see the circuits all laid out and they're using that also for car stuff. So the airport, although it's not being used for planes yet, it is getting used for cars basically and other events so it's quite a nice event space which is quite nice the other thing of course if you've probably seen it already is the aurora borealis or the northern lights were all over the country last night and it's one of them things you think oh can i see it can't i see it you're looking at it thinking is that something take a picture with your camera and you think oh wow okay yeah that's definitely something so very very amazing beautiful thing to look at and see got some great pictures So the Aurora Borealis got me thinking a little bit. I took some test shots whilst I was out with my phone so I could just see if it was in the sky because with the eye, it wasn't as easy to see as you think it would be. Human eye sort of just about make out. Took it with a camera on the phone and thought, oh, wow, there's the Aurora. Best thing I've ever seen in my life. But my phone pictures are really, really bad. <laughs> and they're really poor. So that got me thinking about another photo challenge. Now I did a photo challenge a while back in a video, which I think was vlog 281. That was a photo challenge I set myself with a little Sony camera, the Sony P150, this little thing. 7.1 megapixel, tiny little screen, but I wanted to do a photo challenge and see what the pictures were like. Recently after that Aurora, I thought, ah, I could do the same in another camera I've got. I've also got a Polaroid, this one, an i835. This again is a very old camera. It came out in 2007, so it's, roughly what 14 years old 17 years old 17 years old 17 year old camera this one's got a much bigger screen than the sony it's got a three inch screen and it's an eight megapixel as opposed to 7.1 so it's not much of a big difference because they're not that much difference in age this takes ordinary batteries instead of specialist rechargeable batteries which the sony takes and this one's only got a three time zoom whereas the sony had a proper five time zoom it's a little bit newer, so is the quality any better? Now, I didn't pay for this camera. I got it as a freebie. It was one of the ones that somebody was chucking away because it is old and why would you keep it? So I just kept it for the fun of it. It's something I was keeping in the car for a while. And then I replaced it with my um, Panasonic wet and dry camera, the, sort of the waterproof cameras in there now. But this, I don't know. I want to see what it's like for taking pictures. It's actually got quite a few modes. It's a bit strange when you go through the menu, there's more modes on this than you'd expect for a cheapy camera. Loads of advanced mode, including face detect and stuff like that. Which for a camera of this type, I mean, this would have been fairly cheap when it was new. I imagine it probably wouldn't have been more than about 80 or 90 pounds. So Polaroid are famous for making instant cameras. Not so much these things. This would have been made by another manufacturer in China for them with their name on it. But I wanted to see what it's like. Can you take decent pictures again with a 17 year old camera? Or can you get away with decent pictures for a 17 year old camera. Now the Aurora Borealis is supposed to be coming back, but we don't know when. People keep saying, or sorry I say people, but newspapers that post on Facebook, they're normally rubbish ones that post those really terrible articles because the journalists must be in school still. Um, they keep saying it's coming every night and every night it isn't. There is a proper app you can look at that tells you when your Aurora's coming. And every time the Facebook ones go, oh yeah, if you missed it, you'll see it again. No, you won't. 
don't trust them <laughs> you won't see it look at a proper aurora app to see when it's coming back if it's going to come back and if we're going to be able to see it if we are i might get pictures with this if we don't i'll get other pictures with this night shots and i'll go through the modes and see what the mode pictures look like just for a laugh so something to do So realistically, from the results from the camera, um, no, I'm not overly impressed. <laughs> Some shots, flower shots and close-ups probably okay. Some of the street stuff, like your windows and things like that are okay. It does have a strange colour to it when you're doing um, landscape or outdoors photography. Everything seems to be a bit yellowy, so there's no real white balance control, which is a bit strange. Any shots taken at night or low light, absolutely terrible. That was really bad, the low light shots. So, yeah, it um, shows its age a lot more than the Sony did. The Sony, strangely enough, was a lot better and it was a bit older. But, yeah, I suppose I'm not surprised because the Sony is a very well known brand and the Polaroid is some weird Chinese thing with a Polaroid name on it. So, I wasn't expecting great things from it. For its age and for the fact it didn't cost me anything um i'm not so fast i don't think if you saw one on ebay it'd be worth buying though because the quality is just not there at all now anyway though it was a trial 